Hey, this is Ashley Keaton, and we have Emilio and Leah Avina here, and she has her book, Love Broken Whole. You are watching Enjoy the Process. All right, we have Love Broken Whole. I read the book, and I feel like, I was like, man, I don't even know this girl. This is crazy. This is amazing. This is mind-blowing. When I first read it, I mean, I, I got to the first page, and I'm not going to, you know, um, give anything on the book because I want people to read it, you know. But this, this book is really amazing. I mean, it takes you through, like, some really emotional um, moments, and it, it really does this. So when I was reading it, I was like, man, it, it's, it's really powerful. It's a really powerful book. How did you come up with the name um, Love Broken Whole? Like, what... What is that? Okay, so actually the original name was going to be Scars of His Love. But then this name just came out of nowhere, honestly. And then I just felt like Love Broken Whole had a lot to do with my situation. I felt like the entire time my heart was being broken only in the end to be made whole. So that's where I got it from. Yeah, and, and it seems like there's there's just so much emotion in this book. Like, you, you had to be... You know, just going through emotion, you know, and some pain, just writing the story. Right. Like, how, how was that? Um, it was very emotional. I think that's why it took me so long to even write the book. I did not write a page out of this book without crying. So it was very, very emotional writing this book. Yeah, it's some very personal stories. Are you like, worried about this stuff getting out? Or are you just, you've overcome it and you're just ready to let people know? Or I'm... Me personally, I think I'm just sharing my truth and my story. I don't think, you know, even to those, the people that have hurt me, I don't, it's no, it's not, I'm not bashing anyone in the book. I'm just sharing my truth. And like they say, the lion's story is different from the hunter's story. So I'm just sharing my truth. And I mean, I feel like the world will appreciate my vulnerability and my truth. And yeah. And what's your, what's your main motive? In, in writing the book, what, what's your, what are you trying to, to get out? What message are you trying to present to people? I think I'm trying to present to people that what you're going through isn't the end of you, it's just the beginning. It just depends on how you treat your circumstances, how you feel. If you feel like it's the end, then it's probably the end, but if you treat what you're going through as this, what I'm going through does not define me, what I'm going through is not who I am, but Rather, this is what will make me into a better person, into this is, this is what will be my new beginning. So that's pretty much my goal. Did you write this before you, you met Emilio or was it already? I actually started writing this in 2014. So we had already known each other. We've known each other for years, but um, I wrote it before we started dating. So, yeah. Okay, now was it a, was it a process like, like you were writing the book and you didn't want him to see any of it or did he kind of did you want him to kind of read some stuff i didn't want anyone to see anything okay. i did not want him to see it wow i did not want you to see it he took a peek one day but and seen see it love. but um Shame. yeah i wanted to keep it private <laughs> i really did i wanted to keep it to myself until i let it out there i wanted to surprise him with the book but he just mm -hmm. you know grabbed my laptop I didn't read one day all of it but I read just, a good bit. You just read some stuff like that. I read man. some stuff. I was like, this is so good. I'm not a reader. <laughs> and I'm reading. So I'm like, this is crazy. Yeah, that's another it. thing I was thinking. I, I don't read books. I mean, I'm not saying that there aren't some good books out there. Yeah. But this one, I was like, I'm glad that I used my time. And it, it, I didn't feel like it was wasted. You know, from the first page, like I was telling you guys, that the first page was just like, it was, it was different to me. So I was like, that was really interesting. And Emilio, just knowing the, the, the story and everything that she's been through, you've been there with her, what advice would you give to, to, to men out there, you know, especially at your age even? Well, one thing I do is never judge a book by its cover. Because on the outside, like I said, before we started dating, you know, I've known Aaliyah and to say, you know, I'm thinking she's perfect. She's maybe she's even stuck up. You know, she just looks like she's too good. You know, like too good to be true. Are you a catfish? You know, just to find out 
her story when we're actually dating and that she means so much, like so much pain that she's been through in life is just, that's the main thing I would give advice. You know, you never understand what these women are going through and what their story is. So, you know, a lot of these women, they have walls that's been built up from domestic violence, crazy relationships, yeah. childhood. And you just wouldn't know. You wouldn't know. So, uh, that's one advice I would give is just really try to understand your your spouse. Yeah. Um, so are you working on any other uh, projects? Or? Yes. I'm working on like three different books right now. Because ever, this was my biggest challenge. Because like I said, I've been writing this since 2014. I was 16 when I started writing this. Mm -hmm. I'm 20 now. And so it was my biggest challenge because of what I was writing about pretty much. I would write it, I would finish it, like, yeah, I'm about to publish it. And then I always felt like, no, this isn't it. And so recently, ever since I started school, I treated it like it was an assignment. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing I learned in school is just, I treated this book like it's an assignment. So what I did was I said, okay, look, I'm gonna write this book and I'm gonna finish it by this date. And I did it. And so ever since then, now that I've conquered this challenge, I feel like I can write any book I want to. I feel like once I got past that fear, I can get past any fear, you know? But yeah, I'm working on like three different books right now, literally. I'm working on a poetry book, a children's book, and a novel. So, yeah. So you are changing the world and you are on your, the, the first book so far in More to Come. Love Broken Whole. Aaliyah Avina. It is a must read. You can get it on Amazon, uh, Kindle, Squarespace. Uh, yeah, definitely check this book out. This is Ashley Keaton. You're watching Enjoy the Process. I am out.